Hello, welcome back to the MineTrek.net game server. I am currently outside um, the Norway build. Uh, the, I believe we're going to call her the War Spite. I also call it Operation or Project Shovelhead. Um, I panic and um, Mad Squirrel mocked up a uh, bridge complex. Looks really nice when she's uh, joined together. The ship is set up to be a, a single beam center, so the turbo lifts are offset. Uh, it, when you plan for a single beam ship, you got to plan for this kind of stuff. Otherwise, you'll you'll get kind of gnarly on it. Um, usually, when I do it on one side, it'll be the uh, lift. On this side, it'll be a Jeffrey's tube, and that's what I'm planning here. And it will connect up there, which goes to the back of the ship, and then leads down a couple of decks, and so on and so forth. Um, the rest of it will be interconnected as I find space and availability for it. They also mocked up the cargo um, bay up here. And um, I've been up here kind of reworking it. Sorry guys, had to do it. Had to push it out a little bit so we'd have a doorway into it. And then we could have a lift going down to the lower bay here. And it'll come down in here and then there'll be like a little doorway right here. And so on and so forth. This area will probably be uh, command and control. And then of course as it goes up it'll be other things like engineering and so on and so forth. Uh, I think main engineering will probably be right in this area here, this big area here. I want to leave them a big room. I suspect it's probably going to be along the lines of the Voyager engineering area, um, very close to it. So I might even leave this lower section to them as well so they can have it and everything else. Um, all this section here is going to have to be mainly engineering. Uh, like the antimatter pods and all that stuff are going to have to go here. And it means I'm going to have to uh, find a way the antimatter pods, if they go here, they're going to have to be ejected out through the back here. So that's probably where they're going to go, and that's probably where their ejectors are going to be at. Um, it's just how things have to be on this on this build. When you're planning for these builds, uh, like my main thing right now has been I've just been going along and laying out uh, deck plans for these first upper decks and stuff, and along the back side. And I'm getting into this other area here, and there's a lot of real estate in this. We didn't think there's that much room in this ship. We never do. We never think. Oh, it's not that big. It's big. It's a big ship. Um, but this is for the computer core, obviously. Uh, they also mocked up the deflector. And I'm getting a bit of mouse lag again. Uh, sorry, I don't know what's causing it. I have not been able to track it down. But when you're building these ships, uh, always start on the outside. Get your primary stuff situated. Like, where's your phaser strips, your transporter emitters, your escape pods, RCS thrusters, vents, uh, any external hatches, win uh, main windows for like um, lounges and things like that, uh, other sensor equipment, and mainly escape pods, phasers, and primary equipment. Because you start building your ship out, and the oh, this needs an escape pod here. Um, chances are pretty good you're going to really screw yourself up. So best do it. Do the outside first. At least get your basics outlined for the outside, and that way there you know where everything should go on the inside. Well, not everything, but it'll help you out. Um, I panic's working on the nacelle. It's top secret. I can't take you over there and show it to you right now, but I will soon. Yes, those are windows, but they're transparent aluminum. You're not supposed to be able to see in them. Um, it just had so much real estate in there that uh, you, know, you could fill that thing up with tons and tons of engineering stuff, and it's still... I don't know. You could still. There's so much extra room in there. You just easily fill that thing up with um, other stuff. Let me show you here, because uh, Mad Squirrel and I went along here, and Mad set up the windows and planned out where he wanted stuff, and we went ahead and mocked up a couple of crew corridor, crew quarters, a lounge. Is, this is the Mad Lounge Three, I think. Anyways, there's a lot of crew quarters in through here, and of course back here we have the. Um, impulse drive one of the two one of the four impulse drive engines it's got this huge massive area you know I mean and then you got all this massive area down here so if we wanted to we could even have deuterium tanks and antimatter pods and all that stuff in here but you know yeah whoops I showed you the nacelle yep there it is the top secret nacelle project Shh, don't tell anyone that you saw it it's top secret anyways um, and I just came through here like a minute or two ago and finished all this stuff up. These are all labs uh, down through here, and then there's some really small, you know, like, you know, junior enlisted, you know, hey you, come work on Starship quarters. 
Um, I'm also setting up the gangway. Here's a gangway down here to this deck because it's kind of hard, you know, it's up here and so on forth. Um, I have to map where I'm going to put the gangways for all of these as well as all the Jeffrey's tubes, all the uh, turbo lifts, and all the other doohads and bits and bobs and teradools, whatever you want to call them. Anywho, um, but yeah, I got quite a bit done there. Let's take a look down here and get escape pods. See, when you rot the escape pods, you have to have them in. Otherwise, you may not know where they go, and then you'll put a corridor right there, and then how are you going to horse fit your escape pods in? Mm -hmm. Same thing with the phaser strip right here, as you can see, and then the emitter over here for the uh, transporters. And, and they're multi-decked, obviously, because they're going down. They're stair-stepping down the side of the hall, so they're going to affect multiple decks. Anyways, as I was saying, we have uh, a rack of shuttles. Um, we have a Delta Flyer, um, some sort of um, executive shuttle. We're going to have um, six Valkyries, which um, this is purely a science vessel, mm -hmm, but it still needs defense. It has limited defense. It's going to be equipped with some Valkyries. And by science vessel, we mean covert operational Starfleet ship. Oh no, we're on a diplomatic uh, science um, exploration um, mission. And the Klingons are like, derp, okay. And, you know, covert secret ship. I don't know. It's named War Spite, so I'll let you figure it out. Um, I'm running into problems setting up this area. I don't even know how to even proceed up here. Most likely, I'm going to take, because this is the main deflector, so really, apart from the hangar part that has to be exposed for the hangar, from this level up, I can pretty much do what I want. But down here, it's kind of locked in. As there's the hangar. Um, I might just, in fact, I'm probably I, I turn chat off. Um, we've been getting a lot of new people on the server, and uh, quite a few idiots found their way to us thanks to Smosh TV. Thank you, Smosh. So uh, M Heller's had to. Um, he's been busy with the band hammer and. Uh, some of the comments that are made are pretty damn childish, pretty immature stuff. The kids think they're funny, but they're not funny, they're just retards. And um, unfortunately, when you come on and you act like a retard, uh, you're not doing anybody a favor. You're just making yourself look stupid. And by all means, if you want to look stupid, you know, who, who the hell are we to tell you not to look stupid? Look stupid. Come on the server, act dumb, get kicked off. It's your call. Because um, we will kick you off and we'll do it and not even feel sorry about it. And then whining to M. Heller about why you're not on the server anymore ain't going to do you a bit of good because, well, you were kicked for being a jerk and you were banned for being a jerk and I'm fully capable of uh, of uh, supporting any admin who decides to ban somebody for being a jerk on the server. So if you're going to be a jerk, you come on the server, expect, expect, plan on it. If you're going to be a jerk, you're going to get banned. So, anywho, that's the PSA announcement for today, and we will go back to a building. Um, I gotta, we're having double lines through here, so I'm going ahead and lining this again with double lines. Uh, double lines means one side is one wall, next side is like internal space, so that we can separate out the two rooms. In this case, the hangar bay, which is massive, is going to have one wall style, while the rest of the ship will probably have something slightly different. So, this is what I'm doing. And again, we may end up using some of this space again for additional hangar or ship short shuttle parking or something. It just depends on how uh, how the guys want to proceed with it. So, um, it really is. It's up to them. Um, all I'm doing right now is I do the basic markouts, and then they'll probably come through when they get time. And uh, change things or not, it's really up to them. Um, be kind of cool to have some extra stuff going on in here, but uh, you know, until we get a lot of the stuff down to where we want it, it that kind of stuff is probably not going to be uh, worked on so much um, or designed in. Um, but once we get a lot of the basics done, then that stuff can start being designed in. I'm not really sure how this project got started. Um, I was just asked if I could do some stuff, and next thing I know, I'm over here working on it full time. Well, not full time, but a considerable amount of time. So. I don't mind helping out. Enjoy it, actually. It's kind of cool uh, hanging out with some of the guys, have some fun. We've had a few guest people over um, helping out on the server. Um, 
Hotch Hockey Henchman, I believe his name is. I may have just butchered that. If I did, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah. We've had a few folks on here. Um, but I guess right now, pretty much it's a by invite build only. Not by invite build, but by uh, um, coordination. Um, hey, uh, we're going to be building. You want to help out kind of a thing. Um, otherwise, it's just me, Matt, and um, I panic, really. And Mad was on earlier doing some work, so I haven't seen what he's done. He's probably filling in the the lounges and stuff like that. So, but yeah, this will be um, the back end of the corridor, the back end of the uh, hangar. So. It comes around and then it just sort of levels off here. So at this point, um, you can see that you know you running out of space and it kind of looks awkward on the map above us. I really don't like how that looks at all, any way, shape, or form. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to compensate for it in the best way I can. And I think this is 20 blocks from here to here, so this has to be 20 blocks. And I don't know if it is or not, so we're going to look. One, and there's that weird Minecraft sound. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, it's twenty blocks. So let's count this one. See what this one is. Oh, that's why. Look here, guys. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21. Eh? Uh? Huh? Hmm. Those are diagonal, so the actual distance will be different, because they are diagonal. Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. So this is the problem right here, guys. This bay here goes out way too far. It's going out too far. So, hmm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Those are twenty-one long. And this pattern here should be matched to the pattern up there. So it'll be one, two, three, just like this. And not perfect. It's not perfect, but it's closer and closer than it was. And let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So it's probably going to be just a tad bit longer. Yeah, twenty, twenty-three. So I can live with twenty-three. If everybody else can live with twenty-three, I can live with twenty-three. And it looks like uh, it just keeps going up to. Well, we know it goes up to here, so let's go ahead and go all the way up. What a bang. Huh. See if we can get down here and see what it looks like on the dynamo. Well, that's an interesting design, isn't it? Very interesting indeed, yeah. Let me get rid of this other stuff here. We can play with it a little bit more and try to kind of round it off a bit or get a get a different angle. Um, hmm. I love rounded halls, don't y'all? <laughs> rounded halls are awesome. Not, not very awesome, actually. 
Round calls are kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. And what I'll do here, I'll just move these in one. These are mainly cargo bays anyways for uh, mass cargo. Shuttle parking, all that's handled further up the further out in the hangar up there. So Sometimes I gotta remember the pattern is skip one. Oops, oh well. But I get it wrong every now and then, so it's just one of those patterns. Alright, so I do believe I have a hotkey set up. I do. Keep grabbing the wrong key though, which is not good. I think I'm gonna smooth it to my divide slot, my divide key. To my multiplier. I have a, I'm using the macro mod, and I have a macro set up uh, like a lot of people do for uh, processing things. It might be easier if we just do it from this side. Derp. You know, that's what we do here on the Mind Track server. We constantly reinvent the wheel because that's what we're really, really good at doing. Uh, you guys can read the chat if you want. I'm not even paying attention to it, so. I would like to keep as much of the space out here for other things as possible, but sometimes we can't do that. See you. We do what we could do, and then we go home. And cut. I will manually delete those. And then I'm going to take a big chunk here. And cut it. And then the smaller chunk. Big chunk again. I think we can get the whole thing. Yeah, I can't. How about that? There. Alright, now we look on the Dynamap. It should be a little bit more interesting. And it is. Alright. Um. I can, you know, extend this out a little bit by playing around with it, find the middle point, and then kind of bring it back and see how we can do. Um, that wouldn't be too interesting, but I'm going to try it anyway. So let's we'll start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we'll start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we'll just ease it on out. Bingo! Set their point. So we come through here and grab our trusty spade. Eh. And then we'll walk our center beam line here. Whoops. Go back and fix that. Alright, so we know our center of the cargo bay is now properly centered. Um well center id ish. It's not really centered because you you know eh. if we want it to be centered I'd have to uh, go two in and one up so two in one up so technically to be truly centered it would have to be right here it'd have to be the end of the bay so we can do that you know if we're Star Trek fans then we're capable of multiple things at the same time which would be kind of cool actually because then I could use this as a uh, hallway. I don't know. So much metal. Alright, so if that's the center, then we can come out to here and go one, two, we'll go 
two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. How's that look? Come back down. All right, gives it a little bit more. So we'll go out five more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four. Oops, four, five. And then we'll start at the center again. Go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll probably have to go out quite a bit to get around it. But you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to go ahead and mark that off, and then we'll see how it looks in the uh, in the map thing there. And if it looks good in the map thing, um, I'll slap uh, magenta around the edges and call her uh, call call the Easter Bunny. She's ready. You know, I think it's ready. I guess I can always come back and do it later, and um, I won't. It all know it ends right there because that's where that middle beam ends. Oops. Excuse me. That's where the first magenta line ends, so I know that that's where the um, actual hanger itself ends, the separation point. Get rid of all this stuff here. Get rid of all this. Still have to route the phaser part in yet. So, oops. Um, yeah, I don't need this right now, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this as well. Get rid of that for right now. Get rid of all the extra crap. Speaking of extra crap, extra crap. Okay. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but it's better than it was, which is good for all of us. And what I will do now, and there's so much stuff here, is I will. that to wool. Alright, um, now we know this is the end of the hanger right here, so, and these are, I believe, three blockers, so, um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three, I'm looking at it right there, actually. friend here and one two three one two three come on alright I could easily just highlight this drop it down but I'll just go through and knock them out and then do it this is going to be a double wall anyway, so of course the thing's gonna be like, oh my god, it's so hideous. It's it, it's uh who cares? Do you care? I and it gives us this nice little corridor right here. Oh, I love it when a plane comes together like that. Uh, wool. Awesome. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll copy for the uh, ship over there. I'm going to copy over the um, the Voyager engineering deck and then slightly mock it up differently for this ship. That way there, it'll be different enough, but it'll be of the same era. Um, Says so the Voyager's post-Nemesis version. It should look interesting. Arg. 
Anywho, um, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch me as I problem solve an area on the uh, War Spite, the Norway build here. And have a great day. Bye bye. Um, I gotta, we're having double lines through here, so I'm going ahead and lining this again with double lines. Uh, double lines means one side is one wall, next side is like internal space, so that we can separate out the two rooms. In this case, the hangar bay, which is massive, is going to have one wall style, while the rest of the ship will probably have something slightly different. So, this is what I'm doing. And again, we may end up using some of this space again for additional hangar or ship short shuttle parking or something. It just depends on how uh, how the guys want to proceed with it. So, um, it really is. It's up to them. Um, all I'm doing right now is I do the basic markouts, and then they'll probably come through when they get time and uh, change things or not. It's really up to them. Um, be kind of cool to have some extra stuff going on in here, but. Uh, you know, until we get a lot of the stuff down to where we want it, it that kind of stuff is probably not going to be uh, worked on so much um, or designed in. Um, but once we get a lot of the basics done, then that stuff can start being designed in. I'm not really sure how this project got started. Um, I was just asked if I could do some stuff, and next thing I know, I'm over here working on it full time. Well, not full time, but a considerable amount of time. So I don't mind helping out. Enjoy it. Actually, it's kind of cool uh, hanging out with some of the guys, have some fun. We but yeah, this will be um the back end of the corridor, the back end of the uh, hangar. So it comes around and then it just sort of levels off here. So at this point, um, you can see that you know you running out of space and it kind of looks awkward on the map above us. I really don't like how that looks at all any way shape or form. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to compensate for it in the best way I can. And I think this is 20 blocks from here to here so this has to be 20 blocks and I don't know if it is or not so we're going to look one and there's that weird Minecraft sound. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yeah, it's twenty blocks. So let's count this one, see what this one is. Oh, that's why. Look here, guys. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 1920, 21. Eh? Uh? Huh? Hmm. Those are diagonal. So the actual distance will be different. Because they are diagonal. Oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. So this is the problem right here, guys. This bay here goes out way too far. It's going out too far. That. Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Those are twenty-one long. And this pattern here should be matched to the pattern up there. So it'll be one, two, three, just like this. Not perfect. It's not perfect, but it's closer and closer than it was. And let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So it's probably going to be just a tad bit longer. Yeah, 20, 23, so I can live with 23. If everybody else can live with 23, I can live with 23. And it looks like uh, it just keeps going up to... Well, we know it goes up to here, so let's go ahead and go all the way up.
Bada bang. Eh. Get rid of this other stuff here. You can play with it a little bit more and try to kind of round it off a bit or get a get a different angle. Um, hmm. I love rounded halls, don't y'all? <laughs> rounded halls are awesome. Not, not very awesome, actually. Rounded halls are kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. And what I'll do here, I'll just move these in one. You know, that's what we do here on the Minetrack server. We constantly reinvent the wheel because that's what we're really, really good at doing. Now, we know this is the end of the hangar right here, so, and these are, I believe, three blockers, so. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three. I'm looking at it right there, actually. friend here and one two three one two three come on of course the thing's gonna be like oh my god it's so hideous it's it, it's uh who cares do you care I, and it gives us this nice little corridor right here oh i love it when a plane comes together like that appreciate you taking the time to watch me as i problem solve an area on the uh Warspite, the uh, Norway build here, and have a great day. Bye-bye.